Welcome to the gym. So what I'd like to do is show you how to identify if a function is even or odd by looking at the graph. So basically what we have is I have six examples here. And to understand though even and odd functions, we have to kind of um, know what they're, how we determine their even odd functions. So if a function is even, then it is symmetrical about the y-axis. So remember, we have the y-axis and we have the x-axis, right? Um, if a function is odd, then it is symmetrical about the origin. So basically, to represent sym symmetry about the origin, we can reflect over the x-axis and reflect over the y-axis to re represent symmetry over the origin. So Let's go and take a look at this one. Now again, remember when we're looking at um, symmetry lines, basically a, a line of symmetry is basically going to be like that mirror reflection. You can kind of think of it as like a dotted line that cuts the graph exactly in half. So the y-axis here, if I take a line here and I reflect this over this line, I would reflect this shape over here, but that's not going to produce the same graph, right? If I repose, replace this graph over here and this one over here, it's not going to produce the exact same graph. So this graph is not symmetrical about the uh, y-axis. However, if I, if I reflect the graph over the y-axis, I'm now going to produce something that's going to look like this. And if I now take this graph, the green graph, and reflect it over the x-axis, would, would, which would represent the origin, the reflecting over the y and the x-axis, I would produce the exact same equation. So therefore, this graph is odd. Over here, you can see that now when I take my line of symmetry about the y-axis, that dotted line cuts this v graph, the absolute value graph, directly in half. What is the exact same as on the left side, if I reflect over, is going to be exactly over the right-hand side. So therefore, this is an example of even, because it's symmetrical about the y-axis. Over here, if I I cut the graph, you can see the graph stops here and it goes infinitely there. So a line about the symmetry of the y-axis is not going to cut the graph in half. But what about if I reflect it over and then reflect it over the x-axis? Well, if I do all of that, then I'm going to have a graph that's going to look like this, which again does not take me back to my original graph. So therefore, this is an example of neither, meaning it's nor, not even nor odd function. Over here, now this one looks kind of crazy. You have these asymptotes. You have this, all this crazy stuff going on. However, if you dissect what's going on to the left of the y-axis, as well as what's going on to the, right, to the right of the y-axis, you can see that the graph is symmetrical about the y-axis. So since it's symmetrical about the y-axis, this graph is even. Now this one gets students confused quite a bit because they see a parabola and they know, hey, you know, parabola is an even function. But however, the way that this parabola is written, it's written it's been shifted over to the right. So if I was going to use a line of symmetry, if I was going to reflect this graph, it's not going to produce the same graph. right? If I reflect it over the y-axis, it's not going to produce the same graph. When you reflect, you've got to have the mirror image of the graph. And then if I reflect it over the y-axis and then the x-axis, it produces something like this, which is not the same. So this is an example of neither. All right. The last one here, again, this one is not going to be symmetrical about the y-axis. If you reflect it over the y-axis, you produce something like this. However, if you reflect it over the x-axis again, then it will actually produce the same graph. So therefore, this is an example of an odd function. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a function is even or odd based on the graph. Thanks.